Well, yellow spinners, your own pants talk channel about what? About pen spinning, that's right. My name is Alex Lanz and today I will do something that I haven't done before. Yet. I will make a tutorial for a pen spinning element which I haven't mastered. Yeah. That may sound weird, but, you know, I'm one of those people who are not that good at our beloved hobby. I don't catch elements, tricks, links, especially combos, fast. Each of them takes a lot of time from me to get and to master. That's one of those reasons why my tutorials are so useful. I always have to find the most efficient way to learn and tell it to you. And well, this link, as you can understand, power pass consists of double power pass, then triple pass, power pass, etc. So I still have hard times trying to connect two power passes the way I want. I think it will look awesome though. But still, I will show you what I'm doing, and most likely you'll be able to learn it before me. Wouldn't it be satisfying? Hmm? This trick, I'd say, you should definitely use a heavy pen mod with a good momentum. By the way, new version of Flower V1 worked just fine for me. You can also get it from penstock.net by following the link in the description. Bro, pen mods for best prices. Delivered to every country. Bro. So, what I want to do is something like this. Before trying to master the whole motion, I do the full power pass, from index to pinky. I learned how to not to stop pen when it goes down to the last finger, and how to push it with the pinky finger just the same way as with other fingers. You push it and try to let pen spin on finger bones. Try the push mode so it kinda climbs on, on index and middle fingers. At first, and actually most of the time, pen will fall off, but the main point is to build this muscle memory. To not to catch pen, to not to throw it in spread, but to let it move further like you have another sixth finger. So I let pen spin on fingers a bit, try to push it so it mostly goes on one and two, and after half of rotation, not more than that, when this cap is closer, I raise middle finger in impolite gesture. I want to make pen spin over two and catch it in one two. When the pen goes over the finger, I raise it. By this motion, I can lead pen to move further, and when it passes over bent one, I raise index finger and like push pen with it. And that's pretty tricky. We not just catch pen in one two, but with most of weight from either hand side. This will be the starting position for the next power pass. As I told before, pen should spin not on finger knuckles, but on finger bones, it will add some more control. And it will be easier to catch pen mode in 1-2 between finger bones, because that's easier to start another power pass. So it is like a pass reverse after a power pass. You keep on moving index finger up, but then you sway mode to let it go further, bend 2. And at this point I can't start a new power pass without help of my thumb. I use it as a support, then push pen with index and very fast return 2 to its position, and uh, other fingers also go up. We have re very little time for that, when we, just, like, pinch pen between one and thumb. Use this finger to push pen and let it spin over index finger. It kinda looks like that, but... What do you think? Does thumb support make it look not that great? It's hard for me to tell, as I do this motion for about two months now, and my eyes are kinda swimming, if you know what I mean. 